Waigoji ka kalsa, Waigoji ki fatehe, Nerd Sync here, and in this video, let's have a look at how we can go live on Instagram using a computer so that you can add the likes of your camera, overlays, good music, good audio to your Instagram live streams to take them to the next level. So we're gonna achieve this using a service called Promo Vgram, and we can go directly live on Instagram from OBS, or if you so wish, you could use something like Restream. So if you were already going live on the likes of YouTube or your Facebook or Twitch, then you could add Instagram to your platforms that you can go live on. I was previously using a free tool called Yellow Duck, but it does lack in features. The main one being that Instagram doesn't allow you to rotate and it streams vertically 9 by 16. So if you're already streaming on YouTube, which would be a horizontal 16 by 9, then Instagram would just take the middle portion of that, which sometimes isn't good. So with Promo Vgram, there is a feature where you can rotate or scale your live stream so if you were streaming in 16 by 9 then you can allow your viewers on Instagram to see that. Promo Vgram does cost it's a monthly subscription and I will have a promo code which I'll share with you in a bit so stay tuned for that but Promo Vgram is packed with other features which I'd like to talk about as well. Well, something else I'd like to show you in this video is that I've actually been connecting Zoom to OBS and then going live on Instagram with that. Uh, so basically a podcast show. Uh, so I know you can do lives with other people on Instagram, but this means you can have overlays and music and you can have good audio and video from both parties and you can record the show in high quality for YouTube after, editing after. And this is really powerful and opening up what you can do on Instagram. So this is what's coming up. Uh, stick around and let's get started. So let's do a quick run through to start with and then we'll go into more detail how it all connects together. So if you're familiar with OBS and Restream, this is for you guys. Uh, we're gonna make an account on promovgram.com and sign up, subscribe, they do have a free trial. You can use the link in the description, it's an affiliate link, so I will get a bit of kickback, so I'd appreciate that. And at the checkout, if you use the coupon code NERDSING, all caps, you'll get 20% off your order. So you're all signed up, you're subscribed, and we're gonna add the account. So if we go to account manager here on the left, we'll add the Instagram account. I've already added my NERDSING account. I'm gonna come to live stream RTMP. Pro. Uh, the difference between the normal one and the pro one is that you can rotate your image. So I'm going to click my account. You have to tick that, otherwise it won't work. I'll get my key. I'll stick this key into either OBS or Restream, whatever software you use. Um, you can choose to select if you want comments here. Add, you know, whilst it's live, you can actually comment from here because when you're live, you can't um, access your live and and comment on it from your actual profile. You need to sign to another one, but you can comment from your computer here. So that's quite a useful feature. We go to advanced options. I can transform here so if I want to rotate which is very very useful feature as mentioned or you can scale it to the top or or the middle of your uh, um, of your canvas there if you want after your live video you can make it auto share to Instagram TV as so I'll tick that and you can select the title for both the live and the IGTV video and auto stop live this is important if you leave it on on zero it will just go live and then stop so this is the amount of minutes you want to go live for because um, even after you've finished your live, your Instagram feed will just continue to have a black feed on it. So um, until you either press stop um, live stream on Promo Vgram or, you, or, or it has this auto feature here. So if you're not verified, it can um, you can only live stream from up to um, an hour, I think. If you are verified, then you can have four. So you'll select your time here, let's say 30 minutes and then you start your live and you're good to go and you have this uh, preview feature on the right which at the moment doesn't show it when it's rotated but it will show you that you are live and, and what you're looking at and it will come up with the comments too. Right, so that's the principles but let's go into a bit more detail now how it all connects together. So let's open up OBS here and what you can see here is um, a canvas that I've made actually in Photoshop. So. Um, I've designed this here, it's a PNG, so the, the background is transparent and then in that background then I've taken some stock footage of this kind of, um, you know, particle animation and I've looped it. And then on the left hand video here, I've got 
my camera that I'm recording with, which is connected via USB-C cable into my computer and I'm using um, the Lumix like webcam software to basically insert my camera into the feed. And then on the right hand side, you can see my webcam, but what that actually is, is from Zoom. So what I'm using this for is um, live streaming like a podcast show almost uh, with the um, up and coming YouTuber Manit Paul. So basically we'll set up a Zoom call and then I will pin his video and then his video will show in on this right hand side um, and then I also connect the audio to OBS which I'll show you in a bit and that's my canvas which I'm going to go live on Instagram so I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to stream here and here's my server and my stream key so this is where I get this information from if I click on get key and I'm going to copy these two into there and that's already done and if I do wish to record this show, then I could click on output and I'll have all my settings there. But I have made a separate video on this on my channel, how to use OBS, how to use Restream. So I'll leave a link in the description for that if you can get more, if you, if you want more information on that one. And then I'm gonna click start streaming. So now you can see I'm streaming and we'll go to promo Vgram and essentially there is my image. So as I mentioned, it hasn't rotated it. Even if I do select 90 degrees, know clockwise rotate it's not gonna show it but when you actually do press start live on Instagram it will be rotated so you can trust that in that sense and then as mentioned you would put in your your other settings and you'd go live okay but what if you wanted to go live actually with a vertical video because I have done that on my Instagram one of my other episodes I set up a canvas which was vertical it looked so cool on Instagram but then if I was to upload this to YouTube or a different platform, then it, I would want that 16 by 9 image. But if you did want to change um, your layout, then you could. If you'd go to settings in OBS, click video, then you can change your, you know, your resolution of your your canvas here. So you would just swap those two numbers, so then it would become a vertical frame, and then you design it accordingly. So that's how to connect OBS to Promovigram and then go live on Instagram. But what if you wanted to go live on YouTube and Facebook and the rest at the same time? So let's connect it via Restream now. That's a service um, which can aggregate all of these um, streams together. So we're gonna go from OBS directly to Restream and then we can distribute and we can add Instagram to that. And as I said, I've got a, a much more detailed video on that. So I'm gonna stop streaming here I'm gonna click on settings and go to stream. And I need to change these settings to um, restream.io. So I go to my restream account. So I'm on my restream now and I'll click on my RTMP settings and I've got my stream key here. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna insert that in here and paste that in. And then I'm gonna press start streaming. So as you can see, now my stream from OBS is on restream. And then if I click on add channel and click on custom RTM key at the bottom, I already actually have that set up here. And I'll click on the cog, edit settings, and then the URL and the stream key I'm gonna take from promo Vgram. And I'm gonna click save. So now when I click this button, it's going to go live from Restream to Promo Vgram. So now when I come back here, this service, Promo Vgram, is now getting the live feed from Restream, not directly from OBS. And that means in here I can add a channel, I could add YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. And so we're using this tool, Promo Vgram, then I've got this one which I'm going to rotate, but on the rest of the platforms, it's going to be landscape. So let's go live and have a look at what it looks like. So we we'll click start live. You're gonna get this um, little loading animation. And let's just go onto my profile, just refresh here. And you can see here it says stop live and we are actually live now. So if I just refresh, you can see that we're live. And you can also see that it's rotated so that on your phone, um, you know, you, the person would have to rotate their phone, but at least it's taking that whole image. And if I did want to comment, you can actually see who's joined the live and I can click on comments here and I can say, uh, when you click add comment, it'll have this loading screen, it'll continue the live and then it will pop up in your preview on the right hand side uh, here, but it will also, you know, show 
on, on, on your stream. Hello everyone. So you can see how that works there, but I'm just gonna stop this live now. <laughs> and you can click here when, so before you end your stream completely, you can share this to IGTV if you so wish, but I'm not going to. Okay, so now let's have a look at how we connect to Zoom and OBS together. So for the video of Zoom, because we have to do the audio and video separately, um, we'll open up plus and then we'll click window capture and then you would choose um, from your list the Zoom meeting. So then that's connected and, and be mindful that if you change the size of this window, then it will change the the size of the frame so you have to keep that the same and then in terms of resizing i can either you know click and drag from the corners but if i do wish to crop i can press and hold the alt button and then drag to that so i can get my composition how i want so that's the video how do i do the audio well that audio is a little bit more complicated and i'm going to link a video in the description which really helped me to figure it out because there are a number of ways of doing it but essentially on a mac you're going to install um, an app it's free it's called source nexus if you're on a pc i think you can use an app called virtual audio cable um i haven't tried it myself but this guy says it, it does work so you've installed those and then we're going to come into zoom here and we're going to click on our audio settings so for my microphone i'll just use whatever microphone i prefer i've got a scarlet usb device so i've got an xlr microphone plugged into that but for speaker i'm going to select source nexus a so that's sending the audio um from the person or the people that you're speaking to out of zoom into this nexus tool and then on obs i'm going to click on plus and i'm going to click on audio input capture and then i'm going to select source nexus a so i've already done that here it's called nexus um and then it's going to come up here so if i click on the cog on the nexus settings click on advanced audio properties Here's my Nexus the bottom. I'm gonna click on monitor and output. So what that means is that it's gonna monitor it. In other words, it's going to listen to it and put it into your stream. So whatever the person you're talking to is saying or the people you're talking to are saying, that's gonna come through OBS and you would change the, the amount of gain you want from that using the fader. Um, but you want to output, you want to also be able to hear what they're saying because you're not listening through Zoom, you're listening through OBS. Um, so then you would have headphones or you know whatever you use and you'd be able to then listen to them and talk to them through that so they can hear you directly through zoom but you're listening to them through OBS and because the video and audio are coming in separately you might find that there's an offset it's not in sync so you might need to play around and I mean I have this issue at the moment so I'm trying to trying to work on it uh, but you would need to create um, a sync offset so this is where you would also do that so then you've got your on the right hand side this is just my webcam just to show you what it is but you'd have the the person you're speaking to the people you're speaking to coming into OBS on this side um, and their audio coming in through Nexus you've got your own camera coming in you've got your good audio I've got overlays I've got music here and look at that it's so much better than going live on your phone and this is all possible with Promo B Gram, so thank you guys for making this tool. Um, but this isn't the only thing that Promo B Gram does actually, and I mean, I create content on a daily basis for my job, and I do this, you know, my, my spare time, and you know, scheduling things on like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, YouTube is not fun, uh, you know, like doing it on different platforms, so you know, you do get the likes of Hootsuite, and I'm trying out later at the moment, I'm sure there'll be other ones that I'll be trying out, um, but none of them, the thing is, Instagram have things quite locked down, um, you know, I guess because Facebook own them, Facebook are quite open with their API and you can do scheduling and you can do live streaming and you don't need to use workarounds and Instagram I think is designed on purpose to be only kind of available and usable on the mobile and make that like a mobile experience but if you want to kind of do more with it or schedule things together it can be frustrating and if you want to do repeat uh, scheduling that kind of stuff so promo vgram actually offers some things that i haven't seen anywhere else like for example if i click on post here and then click on my profile i can upload something add in my caption 
schedule it in. That's nothing new. You can do that on Facebook Creator Studio. You can do that on Hootsuite later, all, all those kind of apps. Uh, but something they've got is a repost frequency. So if you had a post that you put out regularly, uh, for example, we have like weekly events that we would need to post out. You can do that on this. I haven't tested it fully yet, but that is a cool feature. Um, and then live stream YouTube. So you can take a YouTube video and send it straight to Instagram live and then save it on IGTV afterwards. So I tried to test this feature um, earlier, but I wasn't able to make it work, but I'm sure um, I'm either doing something wrong or they're working on it. Like I speak to the team regularly, they're quite good at responding and they offer very good uh, support and they even helped me with like my settings and stuff on OBS when I had like flickering issues and stuff like that. So um, I'm sure, you know, it's a work in progress, but honestly, they they really offer some features that, that I'm not seeing anywhere else, which is quite impressive and it could benefit many, you know, watching this video. Okay, so let's talk about some caveats. As you know, this is a bit of a workaround. So there are some caveats to using this service. One being, once you're live using Promo Vgram, you can't look at your own feed when signed in to your own profile on your phone. So you'd need to use a different profile. Um, when you're looking at your viewer on Promo Vgram, it doesn't show it rotated if you are choosing that setting. When you go live on Instagram using the app on your phone with somebody else, then it's live on both of their profiles, which is quite good for engagement and you're basically getting all your followers together to see your live content. But if you use this tool, then you know, if you go live with somebody else via Zoom, it's not gonna automatically go live on their Instagram profile. So there is that caveat there to be mindful of. So with regards to commenting, whilst you're live, you would normally comment from your phone, but because you can't do that, you would have to use the commenting feature on Promo Vgram. So it's not impossible. You just have to make sure you use that workaround. Another thing to be mindful of is that with regards to IGTV and sharing your live to IGTV after you've gone live, then you can't add a thumbnail afterwards. So if you do like having thumbnails on your IGTV videos and you like a, a nice polished profile in that sense, uh, you wouldn't be able to do that. You, you're not able to do that anyway, even if you were to go live from your phone. So, you know, in that case, you would probably be better off recording your show or your video and then uploading it to IGTV just as a normal upload. And then you can, you know, upload a thumbnail from there. Um, and then all the engagement that you do during your live through the comments, that live feed doesn't show on your IGTV video either. So this isn't, those last two things weren't caveats to Pro, Provo Vgram, you know, directly. That's just, that's just caveats to live streaming on, on Instagram. So to sum up, you know, Instagram just, they need to open up their APIs, man, and just let people live stream directly and open up their scheduling tools, you know, and have all these features. Um, but in the meantime, we'll have to use features, you know, and tools like Promo Vgram. And, you know, as I mentioned, I've got the affiliate link in the description. I've got the promo code NerdSing, so make sure you use that if you do sign up. And if you've got any, you know, questions or, you know, issues, and hit me up in the in the comments, you know, I'll help you where I can. And, you know, follow me on NerdSing on Instagram, because I am, I am going to be using this tool, you know, as much as I can and uh, going live, you know, with the likes of Monique Paul and, and other creators, hopefully, in the future. So I hope this video helped you. I Hope you benefited from it and uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one nerd singer